What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range, and I'm super excited about today's video. I have a very cool shotgun to show you. Let's go get set up and get started. So today, I have something that I've wanted for a long time. This is a Remington Road Warrior double barrel 12 gauge shotgun and this has 11 inch barrels absolutely ridiculous and what's even more ridiculous about it you would think this would be chambered in two and three quarter inch and three inch shells no this goes all the way up to a three and a half inch 12 gauge shell i have not shot this yet but i'm really excited to do so i always wait till you're out here with me for the first shots gonna get loaded up shoot at the steel first, but before we do, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Hunting Clash. A big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. If you got some time to kill and you're looking for an awesome game to play, you need to check out Hunting Clash. So why is Hunting Clash so awesome? Well, Hunting Clash allows you to hunt around the world without having to leave your couch. You could be in the desert, forest, mountains, and there's a huge variety of animals for you to hunt. Everything from small varmints to big grizzly bears and even some exotic animals. And if you're a gun guy like me, Hunting Clash has you covered. They have bolt action rifles, lever actions, semi-automatics, there's archery, literally everything you could need to hunt with. So if you're looking for a fun game to play, you need to check out Hunting Clash. I really think you'll enjoy it. When you use promo code Hunt with Scott, you're gonna get 100 gold, 70 skill tokens, and two mythical lures. Be sure and go redeem that code and give them a big thank you for sponsoring the channel. Be sure and check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. Go download Hunting Clash and start having some fun. Again, a big thank you to Hunting Clash for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Shootstill.com saw that I kept breaking all the targets. So they sent us some new ones with metal stands and a Texas star. Gonna start out with some 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch number eight bird shot. I'm gonna one hand this thing, but we're gonna start out with two hands first. So let's see if I can even hit anything with this. Um, I think I was a little Low, let's try again. No, that was definitely low. The recoil, oh, that's awesome. It's got ejectors. So the recoil's not that bad with bird shot, so I'm gonna go ahead and one hand it. <laughs> All right, shot number two. Oh, that is a little rough on the wrist, holding it straight out, so. I feel like I need to kind of shoot from down here with it. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of ammo. We're gonna have to start over. A few moments later. Hey! All right. We got two of them. We're off to a good start. <laughs> we got one more. That actually wasn't too bad. I'm starting to get the hang of this thing. Now it's time to have some fun. Today, we're gonna shoot something that I've never shot before. This was donated by my kids. It no longer works. It is a Furby. We need to go ahead and try out the three and a half inch shell. So this is a 12 gauge, three and a half inch turkey load. And we're gonna see how effective it is at taking out Furbies. <laughs> this is gonna kick a lot. I cannot believe this thing is chambered in three and a half inch shells. Better hang on to this thing. <laughs> Furby got smoked. 
gosh. It looks like a zombie Furby now. Three and a half inch turkey loads seem to be pretty effective at taking out Furbies. So next we are gonna shoot some Stretch Armstrongs, but they sent the wrong ones. I ordered full size Stretch Armstrongs, but they sent these little guys. I'm gonna blast the little mini Stretch Armstrong with some two and three quarter inch double hot buck. Vaporize him. Up next, I'm gonna shoot a five pound gummy bear. These things are super tough. So we're gonna use another three and a half inch turkey load. There we go. <sighs> okay, let's check out Mr. Gummy Bear. Three and a half inch turkey load and that's it. Blew right out the back. Ugh. So up next, I've got some red cabbages and I'm not really sure what this thing is. Oh! Didn't do nothing. It needs one more. <laughs> so this thing did not break up like I thought it would. Up next, I've got two new targets. We have some pork rinds and we have some silly string. So I'm gonna shoot the silly string with some of these mini shells, and then we'll hit the pork rinds with birdshot. Let's try the other one. Oh, there we go. We missed this one. Those weren't as eventful as I thought they would be. Up next, we're gonna shoot a vegetable that nobody likes, eggplant. Ugh. <laughs> Ew, oh, what is inside that eggplant? Ugh. Up next, I have a target that we have not shot before, and I'm really curious to see what it looks like. This is a whole gallon of mustard. So I'm gonna try to hit this with a slug, and if I can't, we'll just move to double up butt. Okay, so I have some Hornady two and three quarter inch, one ounce slugs. I'm gonna be really surprised if I hit it. I don't think I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> this ain't working. Oh. <laughs> oh no, no. I got mustard on my gun case and on my ammo bag. You know what, that makes me so mad. I'm gonna shoot another one. Oh. What time it is? <laughs> so 
So now I think it's time we clean off this table a little bit with a five gallon water jug and a three and a half inch turkey load. Okay, well, you know, I was trying really hard today not to get this gun dirty or wet and uh, well, I failed. Let's see how the old CF Photo Overland 1000 does at breaking up tables. Right, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think about the Road Warrior? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy today's video, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.